One of the biggest roadblocks that you have in developing your best, most elite golf swing is the relationship that you actually have with the golf ball. In this video, I'm going to explain what is it about the golf ball that actually restricts motion and actually can actually change the timing of your golf swing and actually some, some steps and some exercises you can do to change your relationship with the golf ball and gain access to your elite golf swing. So how does the ball hold us back from developing our best possible golf swing? Well, first and foremost is what I'm gonna call being ball bound. Pretty much 95% of the population that plays golf is ball bound. And what ball bound means is that when they try to take the golf club back, instead of letting their body open up naturally, they keep the ball centered in their vision and they become restricted in their movement. Instead of being able to make the requisite amount of turn to have the unrestricted free motion required to actually strike a golf ball, they get about halfway back and then it has to be a lift because they're trying so hard to keep their, their eyes centered on the ball. You, you, it's anatomically impossible to make a really good golf swing without the neck and the eyes almost drifting a little bit behind you in the way. So you can see the ball, but it, the ball becomes peripheral. And the hard, the hard truth really is, is that striking a golf ball is a memorization of a path of the golf club and getting the ball in the way. It's not using hand-eye coordination to somehow direct the golf club to the ball. So you have to have an understanding also on a, on a base level that it's really about the path the golf club is going to travel that's going to help us. So anytime that we're ball bound and we're keeping our eyes and our head too still, we can only make a movement that has much more of a lift. Okay. And then to get the golf club in a good spot, then you try to compensate. But and whenever time you're using your muscles to try to drive the golf swing, you're always going to have to be limited on, on the, on the uh, consistency and certainly the power that you can develop. So if I can release being ball bound though, then I can actually start to make a full turn. If I can make a full turn, I can get the restriction out of my body. And now I have really good access to the natural fluidity that my body can create for a natural golf swing. Now the other element that, that gets us in trouble is what we call anticipation. So I can have a beautiful backswing and really get into a good spot here. But anticipation is something that most of us face because there is going to be an outcome on a golf swing. And to hit the best possible golf shot, the, the paradox is that you have to really stay with the motion all the way to the point where almost like you're a little bit surprised you hit the ball. Most of us are so anxious over the ball when we get back or to try to get back to the golf ball quickly that it actually causes a kind of a glitch in our swing. We call it a quickness or I was jerky on that one. We've all had the experience of, of swings where you get back and it just feels effortless and the ball goes, you know, an extra 20 yards. Well, what's happening on those is you're not reacting or anticipating the strike as you're becoming much more fluid and connected and present to the level of the golf swing. And so when we can, when we can break away from being ball bound and when we can start to really learn how to stay present through the golf swing, that's exactly how we improve and have access to developing our elite motion. But if you don't do that, you'll never get there. To overcome the roadblock of being ball bound, I want you to do this exercise. So instead of making the backswing like you've been doing, where you've been trying to stay very focused on the ball, let's change our attention to get a feeling of actually how our body moves when we're not bound on the ball. The best way to really unlock your most unrestricted backswing, to have the potential to have the best possible fluid motion coming forward, is to get your eyes to help you in a different way. So since your eyes are hindering you when you're staying ball bound, our eyes can actually help us if we trace the golf club. So take some practice swings where you go slow and just watch the golf club all the way back up until you can kind of see it back over your shoulder here. Once you do that, now you're getting the feeling of what it's like to be open. So from a down the line perspective, this is a little easier to see how much the difference is. If I stay ball bound, see how much of a lift I get. But if I actually watch the golf club as I go back, look how different my body position is. Once you've do a couple where you can go back and you just watch the golf club. Stay there for a second and just rotate your neck back down to look at the ball. And what you'll find is when you get to here is that the ball looks like it's over your lead shoulder. So I don't perceive the ball anymore centered in my vision, but I see it peripherally and it feels like it's over my lead shoulder. And now I'm in a spot where I can really make a nice movement. Okay? So that's the easiest way to, to, to get a connection to that. So after you've done watching the golf club, and turning your head back, then just see if you can simply take a backswing with your eyes down, 
but try not try to let the ball go into the peripheral of your vision instead of trying to hold it hold it as, as still as possible. It'll take a little bit of practice, but once you get used to that, you'll get more and more comfortable with it. Once you're comfortable with that, then you're going to have that access to that good path. To overcome roadblock two, which is to anticipate the strike, the, the exercise I want you to do is very simple. We're going to have our regular golf ball that we're going to be hitting, but what we're going to do is we're going to place a secondary golf ball about two feet behind it, directly on an extension of the target line. So I'm striking the ball this way, but I've got another golf ball back behind the other ball. And what this is going to do, this is going to give us something to occupy our attention so we get better at staying present through the, through the, through the, uh, through the transition and in the forward swing where all the magic and the good stuff happens. So the first thing I want you to do is set up to the, set up to the side of the ball. We're just going to do a rehearsal here. Now the object in this exercise here is very simple. Keep your eyes on the back ball all the way up and all the way down until you're aware you struck the golf ball or the club has gone past the impact zone and then your eyes can kind of drift to where it goes. Again, we're trying to get rid of that idea that I'm getting my eyes back to the ball quickly which causes me to, which can cause my muscles to tighten up and change the path of the swing and really corrupt the, corrupt the fluidity of your, of your best golf swing. Now once you've done a couple of rehearsals where you're comfortable with the idea of kind of swinging through keeping your eyes on that back ball, now we're going to go ahead and do that with the golf ball. Start slow though. Don't try to hit the golf ball as fast as you can or at full speed. It's a little bit weird kind of looking behind the ball, but this really does help us get a better sense of keeping our attention in the right spot. So I set up to the ball, and then as I start back, I'm focusing on the back ball, and I come through nice and fluidly, and then once I strike the golf ball, then I'm going to go ahead and see where it goes. If you work on this a lot, you'll get so much more aware of how things feel on the back side of the golf swing, which is crucial because I need unrestricted fluid movement through here. I can't strike a golf ball if I tense up and I have anxiety about what's going to happen in the future. And as you learn how to overcome that anxiety, that's exactly what will give you access to your elite golf motion.